Right, in this video guys, I'm gonna show you how to replace a Garmin 1030 uh, replacement screen. So the first thing first, obviously you got your damaged device. Um, you need to make sure that uh, you either use a hot gun or a blade working your way through the sides. If you don't need a screen anymore, so you don't have to worry about damaging it. Really, it's already damaged. So make sure you go carefully from the sides with a blade to take off the adhesive which there's a double-sided tape. Make sure you don't go around the bottom too much because the connector are, are at the bottom. So don't go too deep at the bottom, but you can go deeper on the sides. So carefully lift the screen off. And all you have to do, if you don't have a tweezer, you can do it with your nails. Uh, take the tape off carefully and it's just one connector that you need to take off and that's it It's simple as that so it's quite simple it will only take five minutes to do this um, You need to make sure that you take off all these bits. I'm going to show you how to do the double-sided tape later So make sure you clean the area so we can tape put the adhesive later on for the new screen to uh, be fitted. So we're just using a screwdriver to take off the adhesive. That's it. Simple as that. Just rolling the adhesive around the screwdriver. Obviously this is a nice trick that not many people know how to do it. If you don't use the screwdriver, you can't really take this off. You see, even after I've done it so many times, it's still it's not easy. So make sure you take your time, don't rush it. I know it's easy to change the screen, but doing the adhesive properly, it's very important because you don't want your new screen to just fall off your bike. So make sure you take your time with this step. Right, we completely took off the old adhesive. Make sure you test the new screen before you glue it back. So obviously you want to make sure it works. All right, we're just going to connect it to make sure. Hopefully there's enough battery to test it. Yep. Just gonna make sure the touch works. Yeah, all good, fantastic. That's a brand new screen. So now we can carry on with uh, taping it back into the frame. And make sure you take put the tape back from the old screen to hold the connector cable and use this uh, B7000 glue or adhesive to glue the new screen to the frame. So take your time to put the glue around. Connect back your screen cable. Don't forget the tape. That's it. Apply some pressure and let it dry. Done.